What's up, everybody? Rob here, back with another episode of Wasting Wild Cards here on Multi 5. And tonight, I am playing just a pile of Gruul cards because I wanted to play a mid range Gruul deck with our friend Chandra Torch of Defiance. Um, my camera's cutting off her beautiful face, but I'm, I'm sure you're all aware with the release of Kaladesh. We got one of the best red Planeswalkers of all time. Definitely the best that fits in just red mid-range decks. I mean, this is like a... It's just so good. And yeah, I want to play a Gruul mid-range deck. So I threw a bunch of mid rangey stuff into a pile. I threw some more stuff into the sideboard. And uh, without really thinking about synergy or math or anything, I literally just threw this pile of cards together. Um... It reminds me of what I'd like to call like an FNM special. Um, a lot of times before I would go to FNM, I would just want to play a bunch of cool cards. Um, most of the time it ended up being like Abzan or Selesnya or Orzov, if you can't tell by my normal videos. Um, but basically I just took a bunch of cards I liked, ways to cast those cards, and they're all good cards. So I mean, like, we've got a little ramp package with Lanor Elves and Lotus Cobra. We've got Scavenging News, get rid of some Graveyard, gain some life. We're playing two Smashings and two Symbiosis, because why not? They're spells, they're lands, they're everything we need them to be. Uh, we've got the four Bone Crusher Giant as just a removal spell and a sweet creature. I've got two Domri Anarch of Bolas as just a way to pump up our team, ramp a little bit more, also, we can't get countered if that's relevant, and we can fight stuff. It's just an all-around cool utility card that I've kind of always forget exists, but it's three mana, and it's pretty powerful. Uh, we've got one Clothis. It's just a way to, you know, it's hard, to, it's hard to remove, and it gets rid of graveyards, which in Historic is very relevant. I've got one Rata. It's just kind of like a Courser of Crufix fill-in. Uh, if Courser was, fit, like, legal, I'd probably play Courser, although Rata probably fits better in this deck. We've got the three Chandra as just a beefy planeswalker gonna get us a bunch of value it can kill creatures it can also help us ramp and if you've ever ultimated a chandra it's just completely over we've got three questing beasts as just a way to beat down kill planeswalkers everybody knows what questing beast does and then we've got two terror of the peaks which is kind of just i like dragons in my gruel decks and terror of the peaks uh it does work especially when you start casting your other creatures it does a lot of work uh, I've got three Elder Gagaroth because if you're playing a green mid-range deck in any format at this point, you're probably playing this. And we've got three Nissa because it's busted. That's that's kind of it. Uh, in the sideboard, I've got some Magma Sprays to kind of exile some annoying stuff, some Blossoming Defense against like the Fatal Push decks. Although Fatal Push doesn't hit much of our stuff, which is nice. Uh, we've got Cinder Vines, it's just a great utility card. Sweltering Suns against the small creature decks. Another Clothis, if that seems like a thing that I want to be doing. Um, and then I figure, you know what, if we're going up against like Control or another mid-range deck, maybe I should just transform this into like a Planeswalker deck. So for that, I got bigger Domri, two Sarkon, a Vivian, plus our little Chandra package here and Domri, like we have a lot of planes and Nissa, we got a lot of Planeswalkers. Uh, so Sarkin could probably do some work in that case. And then I've also got two Carnage Tyrants because screw control. That's why. Let's, uh, let's play some games and see if this piled, I've literally never played a, de a game with this deck. I threw it together and I was like, let's play some games with it. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. All right, here we are with our first game, and this is a very, very bad hand. We're gonna, we're gonna mulligan that one for sure. This one's not great, but it's definitely better. Uh, if we draw into anything else, it's actually pretty sweet. So we'll keep this. Put one of those mounds on the bottom. Keep the fetchy because it's gonna work real nice with Lotus Cobra. Okay, that's a, that's a land I don't mind seeing. Are we up against like a SRAM deck or something? So next turn we can one, two, three, four mana. That's right, right? I'm so bad at Lotus Cobra math. Okay, so I play Fable Passage. That nets me one land. I play another land that nets me another one. Okay, I have four. So let's actually just go. We'll play Domri here. We'll plus and do nothing, and then we will just attack. So next turn, we can make 
stupid amounts of mana. And if they play something, okay, Uro. Not worried about Uro, really. We've got answers in the deck for that. So let's go. We'll plus. We'll go green. Let's go red, I guess. And I'm actually going to play the Terror of the Peaks here. Because if they play another creature, I can start sniping their creatures with my creatures. Oh, they missed their land drop, and I think they saw the writing on the wall. Okay, so they're playing Uro. What was that, Saltai? Was that a Saltai deck? <sighs> okay, so let's bring in a Clothis. And get rid of, hmm, Bone Crusher Giant, because they don't have too many things I can hit with it. And then we'll see if they're playing anything more strange, I guess, to see if we need to switch up our, our sideboard situation. That's bad. We're gonna we're gonna mulligan that for sure, and this it's okay actually. I always forget turn to be turn timber symbiosis is a uh, is a good card. So let's I hate doing this. Uh, cloth this is so good. I guess Nissa. Hmm. Let's think here. Turn one land or elf. Turn two. I could cloth this, and then. Turn three, and let's go, Nissa. Let's let's do this. Ooh, and we got a scooze. That's that is nice. Okay, they're rocking the fatal push. Cool, cool, cool. So we will go Cobra first. Uh, I don't want my scavenging use to die necessarily. There goes the Uro. So next turn. Okay. <sighs> Both of these are annoying against them, but if they get rid of the scavenging use, okay. Okay. So what can we do here? Let's go. Just toss this down. Make a green. Do this. We will eat their Uro. And we'll just get in for two. Again, if I'm playing suboptimally, it's because my deck is literally just a pile of nonsense. Ooh, the expertises are back. That's spicy. I like that. All right, so we'll just do this. We'll get a Domri out here. Plus, pass, and hope we draw into a creature. Once we get our Fable Passage out, we can cast everything, so. Oh my god, that's the best one! That is... Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Gagaroth. Let's uh let's do some fighting here, friendo. Nice. Fatal push is four or less. Okay. So free from fatal push. They don't have an Uro. Yeah, I played that land. Showing my opponent I got nothing. Draw a card. Do it. I'm gonna draw a card too. Um, yeah, I'll put it on top. It can be gusted. Can't be countered, though. Oh, they're cycling. They're digging. All right, so we will... 
add a green, play Mr. Elder Gargaroth. Okay. Oh, they're doing the white splash. They're doing the the LSV special. Okay, so they're playing a ton of targeted removal, so maybe some blossoming defenses wouldn't be the worst. All right, well, well, before you push, let's just keep eating some stuff, am I right? Make future Uros harder to escape. All right, well, that is pretty much the best top deck you can get. Wouldn't mind one of our own. That's... Ugh. All right, well, the Nissa beats are real. I mean, it's not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can kill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> oh, I'm one away from X being a lot. I'm going to pass. Because if I get another land, Shatter Skull Smashing is going to be doing a lot of smashing. And I'd be able to kill Nyssa and a land. If I survive. Oh, I gotta cast a Lock the Lane. That's gross. Uh, no, let's... Not bad. Let's play ourselves to Chandra. Guess we have to plus. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna lose this one. Okay, so they have a bunch of creature removal and stuff like that. So I think we should get spicy. Let's get let's get weird with it here. Alright, bone crusher giant. Not the best here. Actually, I mean, I can hit their... Mm. Let's see. So we got a ton of Planeswalkers. Maybe we go down like one Terror of the Peaks, because that's just legit in there just to be cute. Or maybe go up one, down that. Let's try this. Let's see if our completely insane bonkers uh, sideboard plan works. We're on the play, so we hit some of our mana dorks and stuff like that. Hopefully, we can we can get out there. Start doing some silly stuff. Definitely playing first. Oh, that's pretty slow. We're going to have to mulligan. This is less slow, so we're going to keep this. Um, oh, I don't have a turn one elf. That's a... that sucks. Let's put the smashing on the bottom. If that was a turn timber symbiosis, we would have been in business. Okay. Well, let's play the Lotus Cobra then. Doesn't really matter here which one we play. Either way, they're going to die most likely. Yeah. Let's go. Let's play Rada. Got ourselves a Nissa coming up. So we got backup Nissas. Yeah, 
would have been nice if any of our ramp stuck so we could have played it a turn early, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, I guess we need more green than red at this point. Good thing about this is that it doesn't reveal, so they don't know I have two Nissas. And they can't play a Nissa of their own. I mean, they could Uro and Ramp pretty hard this turn if if that's the thing they're they're looking to do. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna straight start Nissa-ing it up. Decline. <laughs> Either of is so goddamn annoying. It's really good against my deck. Oh man, this is so good. Do I just. Mm, I think I just have to do my own Nissa. Into Cobra, I guess. They can lower my Nissa, but they can't kill it yet. Unless they just have a straight removal spell. Which they do. Okay, well, we've got our Chandra here. Can blow up their Triome, potentially. No, my Chandra. <sighs> Turns out Sultai still might just be the best mid-range deck. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Well, at least we can eat the Uro. It's one good thing that came out of this. Keep that Nissa from ultimating a little bit. Man, I wish I kept sweltering suns in the deck. Should really pay attention to my life total, probably. Is that a big? It's a big crisis. Sure is. Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Well, turns out the very, very, very powerful Soul Tide mid-range deck is uh, a little better than a pile of Gruel cards. But, you know, it's a pile of good Gruel cards, so hopefully we can uh, we can pull a couple out. Let's, uh, let's play another one. All right, here we are with game number two, and we get to play first. And a bunch of good cards we can't cast for a while. This is a lot of painful lands, but I'm going to keep it. Probably put... Domri on the bottom, probably. So I want all my lands, and it's probably the least powerful of the cards. So let's start by playing Rootbound Back, Rootbound Crag Tapped. So we have something we can do next turn. Uh, pay three life to play a Cobra. Turns out Domri probably would have been pretty good against a uh, Mono Blue Dot deck. Okay. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's try to get the questing beast out. Ooh. It resolves. Brazen borrower. Interesting. 
It's unfortunate for my opponent, I guess. Man, a land would be super nice. Throw at our Nissa, hopefully. Okay, well, we didn't get a land, but our opponent also didn't get a land. No, wait, never mind. They got a land. They had no spell. Now are they going to bounce something? Okay, well, they can kill my Cobra, which is annoying, but... I got the uh, Questing Beast beats. The Questing Beats down. They would have to make a very large shark to block. That would have been fun with our friend the Cobra. So we'll attack first. Um, that way if they bounce or do anything weird, I can uh, play Chandra after the fact. Okay, well, there we go. We'll plus decline due to damage. Next turn, we've got plenty of options. Questing Beast is looking pretty nice here. Memory is just like a wheel effect. Okay. So it's possible that our opponent's playing blue white controller Esper and they're just really, really short on the lands they need, and that's why they can't do anything. Oh, Glint Nest Crane. What are you doing, my friend? Nyx Lotus. Okay, so they're playing Mono Blue Devotion. I respect that. Mono Blue Devotion is super fun. Blasting your Nyx Lotuses for God knows how many, throwing down your Gadwicks and drawing a billion cards, tapping stuff while you do it. Feels good. Okay. You know what those things can't do? Block a questing beast. Um... So I could cast my Nissa on tap. <sighs> tap. Would I still have enough mana? I'd make six. Keep a green untapped. I think so. I think so. Okay, so tap. Okay, it worked. Now this is what I'm talking about. Best buds over here, Nissa and Chandra. Two of the most busted, but not too hor. Nissa's super busted. Chandra's just awesome. These are like the two, probably the two best planeswalkers in these colors that have come out potentially ever definitely in the last several years yeah there's there's nothing okay so mono blue devotion lots of counters bring carnage tyrant uh cinder vines uh Hmm. Blossoming Defense could keep stuff from getting bounced, which could be good. Oh, Clothis is, can be bounced, and they don't have much graveyard stuff, I'm sure. Terror of the Peaks, I feel like it's just straight useless in this deck. It's just, it's just in here because it's fun. Um, Bone Crusher Giant. Can trim those. And then maybe we don't need that many Gargaroths if we have a Carnage Tyrant. Let's try that. Mono Blue Nyx Lotus Devotion. All right. I I get why they have the bird in the deck, but uh, only has one pip of blue. Seems kind of like a waste. This is slow, but I'm going to keep it just because I can play Cinder Vines on turn two. Our opponent plays a Crane. Oh, yeah. 
Ain't nobody countering my cinder vines. All right. Uh, all right, we'll play that tap. Play scavenging use. All right, well, got my damage in. So I can blow up the Lotus now, or I can just start beating down. They only have one devotion, so I'm not even remotely scared of that yet. Cavalier, okay. Adds pips, draws cards, all around solid. Definitely dies to a questing beast, though. Ooh, Nissa. I like it. All right, so let's start by attacking. Resolve. And then we will go passage. We want as many forests as possible for Nyssa. Player Nyssa, plus our Nyssa on top of forest and pass turn. So now we can blow up Nyx Lotus if they see them like they're going to get up to any kinds of shenanigans. Yeah, I think we just I think we just blow it up. If we don't blow it up, they would have five-ish. What does that Cavalier have? Three pips? It won't let me see. Oh, there it is. Three. So if they'd have four mana... Yeah, I like this. I like where this is going. Let's let that resolve. And let's come on. Resolve all. Sorry, I got a strange text message and was quite confused. All right. Mountain, Nyssa, plus Stomping Grounds, Questing Beast. I will continue to trade for these. All right, so they don't have a ton of impactful stuff, so we're in a pretty good spot. Pthasa, okay, blinks the crane, that's fun. What do you do? Okay. So you can bounce my stuff to my hand, okay. Cool, cool. Oh! Carnage Tyrant, baby! <laughs> and yeah, let's go. I'm feeling real good about this Carnage Tyrant. <laughs> There's no, this deck has nothing that can even remotely deal with that, do they? Other than blocking with a Thassa. They need what? Uh, five? Okay. So they can get their Thassa online pretty soon.
Okay, keep me from drawing cards. Or just dig. Okay, negate. Cool, 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 cool. I don't know why they didn't return the missile last time. I guess. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So let's go. Chandra. Um, let's see. I can have two. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they still could have potentially pulled it out there, but that was fun. That was good. Carnage Tyrant. I haven't cast you in a long time, and it feels very good. Let's try to go uh, two for three, huh? All right, friends, here we are back with game number three. And uh, this could be terrible if we uh, whiff on our mana, but it could also be very good. And we're on the draw, so I'm going to keep it. Thoughtseize. All right. So Overgrown Tomb into Thoughtseize lends, lends itself, lend tend leads me to believe that's the word english is hard at nighttime um leads me to believe this is probably saltai again uh past the turn taking domri was kind of an interesting choice it makes me think oh jund okay oh yeah jund um I'm dumb sometimes. Jump sack is still a real thing, so there's a good chance that that is what we are up against. And Domri being able to fight stuff seems relevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if they play something. Okay, still probably Jun sack. Chandra and, uh,. Priest of the Forgotten Gods is a very fun little package. You just basically constantly create the sacrifice fodder. Okay, so I can go... Mm. I'd rather save this to kill something, so let's go tapped and just play the Cobra. Then hopefully next turn we get a land to uh, play Nyssa or any other spell. This is the... Yeah. I was thinking also about brewing like a Mardu Pyromancer mid rangey type deck now that we have Chandra Torture Defiance as well. And I was thinking, you know, this Chandra is actually probably pretty good in that kind of deck too because the plus hits both of them if you ever have both Chandras out which could be fun okay they're doing a lot of damage to themselves cool I mean if they leave the bone crusher I can just kill Chandra and if they don't I mean I'm in a pretty good spot if I drew land which I didn't but we get their Chandra off the field. We have a land war in play. And our opponent has done 11 damage to themselves. <laughs> um, oh, I wonder if they're playing the Death Shadow card. That would be kind of fancy. Okay, they have a Chandra of their own. Yeah, they'll probably have to mine us here. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> All right, well, now they have tons of mana, which we do not have. My eyelid is twitching. That's probably not a good sign. Probably need to sleep more. But I sleep pretty good. I'm a pretty okay sleeper. I have a small child, so sleep is precious, and I usually don't waste my sleeping time by not sleeping. I should probably, this YouTube channel will probably have a lot more uh, content on it if that was the case. But uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
Oh no, connection lost. Let's uh, reconnect there. That was weird. I was like mid game and it said network lost. Huh. Magic Arena doing the thing it does. I got very good internet here. My eyelashes. Got that sweet Verizon Fios gigabit running a uh, hard line straight to the uh, my little network rack back there. Got all the speed. I'm going to discard Questing Beast because I have two. Cool. Come on, come on. All right, well, we're going to attack Chandra. They have five cards in their graveyard, so they can play Croxa now. Oh, I remember when I was like, this could be good, but could also be terrible. The also terrible aspect is starting. Okay, scoos. Come on. I mean, yes, this card is very annoying for my opponent, but things are getting pretty, uh, pretty dicey in here. They're going to be gaining life with the scavenging ooze. Oh, God. I need land so bad. I need land so bad. Well, actually... Ah, oh, that's not a land. I was going to say, I could, I could make mana from a graveyard. And there we go. All right. That'll get me something on board, at least. Yep. Probably. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. Yeah, I think a Mardu midrange deck is probably pretty good. Chandra into, into uh, Thought Seizing and Croxa ing. I guess, what does the white give me? And why am I not doing Jund what my opponent's doing right now? That's a question to ask yourself. What does white give you? I guess in modern it was what, like Lingering Souls? Yeah, I don't think there's uh, all that much going on there. Well, we're going to get rid of Croxa because screw Croxa. Somehow, we are in a perfectly okay position right now. Opponent has two cards in hand, which is scary. Okay. And we're dead. <laughs> All right, well, we were in an okay spot, but um, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like that could have gone a lot better. So, just jund mid-range, huh? Okay, Blossoming Defense. Uh, Carnage Tyrant's probably a pain in the ass for them to deal with. And then we probably maybe big Vivian there. Um, maybe again. <laughs> Terror of the Peaks. On paper, good times, good times. But probably mm, Bone Crusher can hit a bunch of stuff. Maybe if we bring in two tyrants, go down. Mm, a, a Domri, Rata's good with like landfall y stuff. Could have one and maybe just want one Gagaroth, Gargaroth. Let's try this. I mean, our opponent's deck basically kills them themselves. So if we can get like our questing beast online and start beating down, that's probably the best course of action. Playing first, we'll keep it. Hopefully, Thought Seize doesn't steal our fun stuff again, but what are you going to do if they do? Sure seems like that's going to do it. But at least we, I mean, we got stuff to do. We got a Cobra, we got a news. 
They're afraid. They're afraid of the Domri, huh? We'll play the Cobra. They'll probably get fatal pushed. Okay. So we can do this. Red. X equals... Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I thought that was a 1-2. That is not a 1-2. Okay. I really like Shevel. I wonder, like what kind of deck do you really want to be playing him in? There's like a an Abzan Humans deck that's been floating around him, the old noggin. That I'm like, maybe, maybe there's something there. But who knows? Who knows? All right, well. I can at least Shatter Skull Smashing for enough. He did. And I'm going to eat him. So they got Fatal p fatal Passage. <laughs> they got Fable Passage. Um, so they can trigger revolts against four drops, I guess. That's a relevant thing. Doesn't seem like it is right now. Turn, timb turn Timber Symbiosis. Oh my god. I cannot speak right now. Turn Timber Symbiosis. We'll be online pretty soon. Guess I probably should have played the forest first, huh? Doesn't matter. All right. So we can we can cast this next turn if our Chandra lives. Or if we draw into a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, plus one. Hit a Carnage Tyrant or something like that. Yeah, well, that's not going to get countered, so that's nice. Oh, what creature do I want to put on the battlefield? Probably Questing Beast. I mean, Rod is nice, but let's go with Questing Beast. <laughs> and we'll just plus. He did. Did I do that much damage to them, or my opponent continue to just also kill themselves? I don't think my opponent's Chandra is going to save them. We've got a lot of mana. Let's eat some stuff. Eh, let's wait. If they play Croxa or something like that, then we can figure it out. Oh, Fatal Push. All right, well, let's just eat their graveyard. Keep their escape stuff harder to escape. Ooh-wee. Well, this is this is a tight little, little race we got going on here. So let's uh, plus. Deal damage. Play a big fat boy. We're in a good spot. We're in a very good spot. Could cast another Chandra, I guess.
Okay. They can, uh, <laughs> I was going to say they could, they could kill my one creature and then die, but. All right. That felt okay. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, let's run it back. I'm not smart enough to like pay attention to what worked that game and what didn't. And if I could have, I don't know. Let's just let's run it back. Hopefully, uh, our opponent continues to kill themselves with their lands and thought seizes. Sure, this isn't great, but we'll keep it. No turn one thought seize, which is fun. Turn two thought seize, cool. Scavenging you is really the only. Our opponent keeps thought seizing like late game threats, which is you know it's a way to do it. I'm more of a keep stuff off the board that is instantly relevant. Okay, well they had answers, so I guess not a huge deal. Well, we'll get rid of a forest, I guess. And we'll pass. All right. Well, we got lots of lands. Need to draw into action here, or we're going to be in trouble. Uh, Get rid of a Fable Passage, I guess. Questing Beast would be just delightful right now. All right, I mean, I, I like what my opponent's doing. It's a very f nice little Jund mid-range package, and the the green for ooze and stuff like that seems like it's a pretty decent little thing. They knew I had this card in my hand. Okay, well, if they want to burn two removal spells, that's fine. All right, well... They're playing the modern style here, where their Liliana is just really keeping me off of stuff here. And they're going to play Croxa. Gross. I think they might have it. I think they might have it. That's not a that's not an impactful spell. I'm trying to think what would be an impactful spell. Well, hey, we get a land out of the deal. Cool. I mean, this is always good, but it doesn't draw cards. Honestly, Chandra is like the only Chandra or uh, Elder Gagaroth. All right, pay two life. Good game, my friend. Okay, so one out of two. Gruel pile, not exactly doing what you'd want it to do, I guess. Um, oh, my webcam is like super laggy right now. That's weird. All right, so let's go to the old the old deck here. So, things that impressed me. Chandra. I was impressed. Real good card. Um, Clothis, again, impressed me. I'm a big fan of Clothis. Terror of the Peaks, never even really did anything with it. Waste of two cards. Uh... Elder Gagaroth, real good, but probably don't need three. Nissa is an all-star, of course. Domri, when I did cast, was good. Uh, yeah, so there's, like, good pieces here, but honestly, I think my opponent is probably right. You probably want to play multiple colors, like, three colors. Um, like I said, Mardu intrigues me, but I don't know what Mardu would necessarily add I mean, black is obvious, so, like, you got your Rakdo stuff going on. But in white, what do you really... What does white offer that other packages wouldn't offer? Because you could do, like, Grixis stuff, which could be nice. Uh, Saltai... No, that's, that doesn't have red. What am I talking about? So you could do Grixis, Jund, or Mardu. There's a whole bunch of two-colored things. 
Well, I guess let's think about Boros stuff. What does Boros add? Because I think Gruul, it's fine, but if you want to play Gruul, you should play, you know, just Gruul aggro. It's just strictly better. You should you should do that. But if you want to play Mardu, what do we got to go with? There's got to be some good stuff in here, right? Oh, let's see. Deafening Clarion is okay. It would kind of kill your own stuff if you're doing the more Mardu Pyromancery type stuff. Um... Yeah, I get like Justice Strike, but does that really mean anything? <sighs> Nahiri, if you're doing weird in, uh, equipment stuff. And then you got like your Mythos. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if Mardu is necessarily the way to go. Maybe it's just like Rakdos midrange. But you got the lands. Mardu gives you good lands. Ooh. It gives you Ruinous Ultimatum. That could be worth it. I'm, I'm thinking now. I can. Mm, maybe we need a historic rune as ultimatum deck. Maybe that's what we need. All right. Well, I have a lot of thinking to do. In the meantime, thank you for watching. If you have been playing a Gruul mid range deck or any mid range deck with Chandra, let me know what your list is. Um. I got my my genres crafted. I'm here to brew. Um, other than this, I've only what did I do? I got my SRAMs from Kaladesh, so I got an Aura's deck. I'm kind of working on, but yeah, I just Gruel was just like, hey, I have all these cards. They're really good. Let's throw them in a deck. Let's see what happens. Turns out, you you lose to just better decks. Obviously, there's better mid range decks, but Chandra performed incredibly well. So for sure, I'm gonna be brewing around Chandra, and. Give me hints. Give me helpful information. I would love to hear what everybody out there is brewing. In the meantime, thank you for watching.